Making money selling drone footage is very kind of easy but complicated because stock footage sites are crap. Um, there is no doubt about it that you can spend a ton of time producing perfect images, uploading the content, getting the keywords right, and each stock site has its own kind of nuances about the stuff that they do want, don't want, the way it should be labeled, if there's people in there, um, you should get permission, all of that is just massive barriers to actually earning money. And also the fact that when people go there, there are tons of different types of content that is very similar to yours and it can be very difficult to kind of separate yourself from the pack. So in this video, I wanna talk about the two other ways other than stock footage um, that I think is the best way to make money. It's a little bit more work in the short term, but it means that you build up a reputation and actual and a kind of business that you can actually kind of be proud of rather than just going out and hitting and hoping like, Using stock sites is like getting a shotgun uh, at target practice and just, you know, shotgunning the, the target so it goes everywhere and just hoping something lands in the middle. You can be much more calculated and much more controlled in your approach to making money with your drone. Where did I put it? Here it is, look, there's my drone. Um, and yeah, this are, these are the ways that I would do it. Let's talk about stock footage sites first um, because, you know, sometimes there is, a place for them, but really not all the time. So here are the stock footage sites that I think you should consider. Getty Images, Shutterstock, Pond5, and Dronestock. Those are the stock images that uh, sites that I've used, I've put up content, and I have made zero dollars. Um, and that's because I'm not really putting in enough effort, time, content. Like you really do have to flood the uh, the sites with high quality footage all the time. You have to be, you know, it has to be your full time job, but the return for the majority of people simply isn't worth it. Now there is a company called Black Box. They uh, will upload your content to a variety of different stock sites for you, but when it sells, they are gonna take a higher portion of your sale up to, I think probably about 60%. Um, let me just double check that on my research. Okay, they actually take up to 75% and leave only 25% for the creator of the content. So they do take a lot of the groundwork of uploading your content to the stock sites, but it is uh, at a reasonable cost. Uh, so these are the ways that I think you should do it. The first one is creating your content and uploading it to YouTube. Now that may seem a little bit weird, but wait for what I the steps that I talk through and then you'll be sort of ready to make money. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is head out to your local area and take shots that people want to see. You know, when people are looking for drone video shots for their own content, whether it's real estate agents, whether or not it's um, local TV producers, or just people looking for social media content for their business, they are always looking for cool shots. So what do they do? They go to Google and they type in drone shots, Adelaide in my case, or drone shots, San Francisco drone shots. And no matter where you are, like, like you can get people uh, searching for the content that you have created. Now the thing is, is that you need to go out and get about, you know, six places of interest around Adelaide. You know, where are people mainly hanging out in your local area? What sort of things are they seeing? And put that together in a little bit of a showreel and then the important thing is that it is searchable. So on YouTube, go in and type in like, the area that it's drone footage, um, that, you know, it's a certain quality and uh, also your business name or your, you know, if people are searching for you, how they can, how essentially they can find you to uh, pay is, is the important thing. And in the description, all you have to do is you can license this material and then your email address. And that means that when people are Googling Adelaide drone footage, Adelaide oval drone footage, uh, Glenelg beach drone footage, 
you know, you're likely to come up to the top of that search because it is highly relevant to the search term. Now, the thing is, is that in the caption, they need to be able to find you and they do that by accessing your email. And if you have a website as well, that is perfect. The, the two kind of go hand in hand, getting a YouTube channel and also a um, website up and running and you can cross pollinate and that helps all of the search engine optimization, uh, gives you a bit of credibility and uh, gives you a bit of trustworthiness in the eyes of Google because not only have you got a website with all of the information where people can contact you and also helpful content, but also you have the YouTube video where it is your face online um, and you are selling drone footage that they, they can license out. Um, for example, I recently went to Lord Howe Island. I had a fantastic time there and I'm going to be putting up content from that trip um, onto YouTube with the exact description that I've talked about, Lord Howe Island, um, drone footage, and then uh, Drone Flying Pro. And uh, let's see if I get any hits. And then you can say for inquiry, for business inquiries about this content, you can contact me and then my email address. So uh, that is how you can sell drone footage that you've got. There's a much higher success rate and probability that someone will contact you than just using your um, you know, stock footage. And also, even if it doesn't happen as often as maybe you would sell on a, on a stock site, even if you can stand out on a stock site, um, you are keeping 100% of the uh, licensing fee. So you can charge $200, $500, you know, for a 30 second clip. And uh, people are willing to pay that because they've come straight to you. you. They can use it over and over again. They don't just use it once like with most stock sites. And, uh, you know, some people want uh, to absolutely out right own the content you've produced and therefore you can give it to them at a much higher rate and then you've just earned yourself a load of money, hundreds to thousands of dollars. Nice. Okay, another way of selling your stock footage is to create a website. So head over to droneflyingpro.com. I've also got an article that this video is based on, but essentially you can create a little kind of ecosystem. Now the thing about YouTube um, is that you are kind of uh, trapped in YouTube's own little rules and regulations. You know, what you need to do, they can demonetize you, they can decide that your content isn't worth um, promoting, all of that sort of stuff. So by by pushing people to your own ecosystem of content on your own website, uh, for example, droneflyingpro.com is something I'm building up at the moment, um, and being super helpful with blog content and driving traffic to that website, you know, you can essentially create a small micro business around flying your drone and getting great uh, images and content. And once people are on in your ecosystem, you can get their email address um, and all of that sort of stuff. So there are a lot of benefits to creating a website and owning your own little part of the internet where you can sell your drone footage. Now the thing about this is that it's not easy and it does not take um, a short amount of time. It takes a very long amount of time, up to a couple of years to really build that credibility on the website. Um, and some people just really don't uh, have the patience for it, I guess. So uh, if you want to sell drone footage on your own website, here are the basic steps. First of all, you create a website. So you go in, you get a domain name, you get a server, you upload WordPress, you get a theme on there. All of that sort of stuff is relatively simple and you can Google all of the uh, steps. Second thing you need to do now is drive traffic to that website. In the early days, it will be an absolute ghost town. There will be no one coming to your website, but by creating videos on YouTube, sending people over there, but also by search engine optimizing um, all of the kind of blog posts that you put there. So I have written over 100 blog posts on Drone Flying Pro at the moment. It's only about six months old, but already I'm getting about 2,000 visits a month, and uh, there is in you know very high likelihood likelihood that in the next sort of like few months to a year, I'll be ending up with over 10,000, hopefully way more, you know, up to 50 or 100,000 visits a month. And then you have a captive audience after driving the traffic to the website, you have a captive audience to sell your drone footage to. Not only that, but they may reach out once you've kind of built your credibility for you to do commissions for them. And that's when you can really start to charge a lot of money because not only are they looking for drone footage, but they're looking for you to do 
it. And that's uh, when you sort of start building up a reputation for getting drone footage and all that sort of stuff. So um, building your website, driving traffic to it, and then monetizing in a variety of different ways, whether or not you can you know, sell your own course on how to, uh, how to monetize drone footage. You can um, uh, use ads and affiliate offers, and then you can sell your photos. So selling photos is only a small part of the monetization method of owning a website about drones and drone footage, drone photography, drones in general. So yes, those are the ways that you can monetize your website. Um, and I think it's probably the most rewarding and also asset rich way of selling your drone photos. You know, this is a tool to capture stuff, to capture images and video from the sky. But one thing I would say is that uh, owning, you know, your own part of the internet where you can send people, where you can upload images, where people can contact you, builds credibility, builds trust. And then that means that people are more likely to come to you for drone footage if, you uh, have a place where you've helped them and you've, you've uh, yeah, got a lot of cred credibility and that sort of stuff. So uh, there we are. There are the three ways that you can make money selling your drone footage. And I absolutely prefer YouTube and website. I'm staying away from drone stock uh, image sites and footage sites because it just is so crowded and noisy. It can work for some people, just not for me. So there we have it. There are the three ways that you can create wealth and earn money through drone footage. The first one is stock sites, do not like it. Second two ways are the ways that I think everyone should be using, creating YouTube uh, channel with searchable titles in the content description and the titles so that people can contact you um, and also license footage that you have created from different uh, parts of the world, your trips, your travels, your local space, um, your local environment, that sort of stuff. And also the long-term game is creating a website where you drive traffic either from the YouTube channel or from search engine optimized blog articles um, like I'm doing with droneflyingpro.com. Um, and uh, yeah, just building up credibility from there and uh, it does take a long time and it does take a lot of effort and work to drive traffic to a website. But once it's there, it will continue to pay for many years to come. And you do not even need to do drone uh, like commissions anymore. You can just rely on the passive type income that comes in from ads, affiliates and selling courses or other people's products through your website. So those are the ways you can make money um, by selling your drone footage and uh, building a small business in uh, alongside it. That's what I want to say. All right. Until the next time, I shall see you in the next video and have a fantastic time flying your drone. Go get some footage and start putting it on YouTube and seeing if people want to buy it.